Black Girl Nerds. Better shake your booties for Black Girl Nerds. Thank you. Darius, oh. I enjoyed this film easily. One of the best films I've seen this year, and I've seen a lot of films. Oh, thank you so much truly, for saying that. Truly, it is so layered and grounded in reality, and it's not neat like movies tend to are. It's not a neatly packaged thing, especially with uh, Riz's character, Ruben. How has this creating a film like this, where the audience participates, changed you as a as a director? Did, when, when you said where the audience participates? Yeah, in a sense we're participating because we get to hear along with Ruben it. what it's like. I love it. I just wanted to make sure I knew the intentionality of the question. That's such yeah. a great way of putting it because that's, that's exactly what I was after actually is a feeling of indoctrination into a process yourself, a physical process, you know? And not just a physical process, but the frustration sometimes of not knowing a language, just like Ruben doesn't, you know, when ASL isn't being subtitled for you and you have to kind of work your way through that. And I've learned so much um, experiencing people's experience, you know, even in the premiere in, um, in Toronto was so wonderful, not only for the fact that it was, little did I know the last time we would be gathered like that in a theater almost, you know, but also, you felt this two different cultures watching this film and you heard the deaf culture laughing when hearing people didn't understand and you know so and then and then the way people uh, physically reacted to this very um this experience that would that took a long time to create and it was really an experiment you know when we look at the two principal people that we see Ruben involved with, with Lou and with Joe, there's a very fine line between codependence and, and asking for help. What is that, that fine line that Ruben walks that makes his relationship with each of them differ, different? That's such a great question. That's such a great question to talk about that with both of those guys. And I think the difference is, is that, um, Lou and Ruben are kids in love, you know, they're not, they're adults, but they're, but you know, we're all kids in love, aren't we? And, and, and then, and, and Joe's, a, Joe's an adult and Joe draws the line where something might have been codependent. Joe doesn't allow that because that's, that's where Joe's at. So, um, and, and I think, you know, had, had Joe not had that degree of integrity, he might have allowed Ruben to, to continue his self-destructive behavior. And then it may have become codependent, but that's not Joe, you know? So I think that Joe is literally a rock or a compass and, um, and, and Ruben and Lou have to, have to find that in, and that's where the arc of, the, of their journey is. Mm -hmm. And lastly, this is a very different film from anything I've ever seen. What, what was the origin of even putting this together, this type of a story? It's actually decades old. And, and, and the, the writing process, you know, poof, I mean, it was a 10 year process for me to get this film made. So there was a lot put in and years of writing and, and thousands of pages written and, you know, just a really a crazy journey, really, honestly, um, makes me seem crazy. Um, but, uh, but it started, it, it had these different, uh, it, it actually paralleled a deep relationship in my life. And much of this is very, very personal. Um, and it, uh, but I didn't know that when I began it, I just knew I was interested. And sometimes the magic of the creative process is it shows you why you are interested as you go. Um, and, uh, you know, it, but it came through a dear friend of mine, Derek C in France, we wrote Place Beyond the Pines together and he had been filming this hybrid documentary. And the first time we met 13 years ago, this is what we talked about. And then I ended up editing footage of that. And so it, it's really amazing when he and I were just talking, it's really amazing that the, the amount of foundational work that ended up being this movie is just a shocking amount. It's a shocking amount of hours and thought and passion in many different directions. Thank you so much for this film. It's, it's really beautiful. And I wanna see it in the mix during award season. I loved it. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate your comments. No problem. Thank you for your time. Such a nice, nice thing to meet you. Ha. Better shake your boots for Black Girl Nerd.
nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.